American people, pastors, and some churches. Uh, we're going into some uh, revelations on Jesus' teaching to become the children of the highest. <clears throat> and uh, your reward shall be great in practice in heaven. And here's some scriptures you ought to write down. Revelation 22 and 12, Luke 6, 23, Matthew 5 and 12, Matthew 6 and 4, Matthew 6 and 6, Matthew 6 and 18, uh, uh, on high things from on high. In other words, the children of the highest shall be openly rewarded in the highest, when he comes with the highest rewards of Revelation chapter 22, verse 12, it is because your practice for F-O-R heaven as children of the highest began upon the earth through the teaching of these 13 principles from Jesus himself. Luke 6, 27 through 38. Now, in keeping with godliness, it is important that the children of the highest should be openly rewarded in the highest by him who is from on high. You may want to know about uh, hallelujah children what we call them, since you already know of God's mighty ones and his sanctified ones, and of what kind of knowledge he is able to dispatch, that means God is able to dispatch, through his two archangels, Gabriel and Michael, through Zechariah the priest, the father of John, Speaking by the Holy Ghost, keep this in mind, uh, he called the infant John the Baptist Roy, R O E H. Another word for is Jose, H O Z E H, which normally means S E E R, Sia. Uh, but the most important one is Nabi, N A B I, N A B I, Nabi. And that is prophet, one who is called to speak of the highest. Uh, that's found in Luke 176. Therefore, it is the Holy Ghost who identified the infant John as a hallelujah child, being the Nabi or the prophet of the children of the highest, or the Nabi of the hallelujah children. The Holy Ghost is the only spirit of promise who can prophesy the birth of a Nabi through a man and angel. Keep this in mind. But only through the archangel alone, which is Gabriel, uh, when prophesying uh, the birth of the Son of the Highest, Luke chapter 1, verse 32. His name is Jesus. I want to say that many today still call Jesus a Nabi, a prophet. All right? Now, that knowledge will sink in when you begin to study uh, and show yourself approved unto God. And you begin to understand these things. Now, we're going to be able to go over into uh, Luke, where we ended the last time. 
uh, uh, let me just uh, go briefly over those 13 principles of teaching of the highest. You'll find them from uh, Luke chapter uh, 6, verses 27 uh, through 38. And when you find them there, you will understand what it means uh, to understand what it means to become the children of the highest that you may be rewarded with the highest rewards. And that's a great understanding. That's where you'll find them. If you need help with that, uh, email me and we'll send you some help. If you need help with anything that you hear, email me and we'll uh, try to get back to you on the thing that you hear that you don't understand. A particular pastors out there that need this understanding. Uh, because these are high level understanding, high teachings, understandings. A lot of time we get so engrossed in things out there until we don't understand that we understand in part, only in part. And uh, we are teaching and preaching nobody's perfect. And uh, that's half the battle, half the knowledge, half the understanding, half the know-how, half the revelation. All right. If you notice in the 10th verse it said, but when that which is perfect has come, that which is in part is done away with. All right. And that includes uh, the five principles of the doctrine of Christ. When that which has come is perfect, that's why it says, leaving the principle of the doctrine of Christ and going on to perfection. So therefore you need to understand these high things of God because they are for the children, as Jesus said, and read that uh, Luke, uh, uh, Luke chapter 6, verse 27. But I say unto you, which hear, he said, you which hear, you which hear these high teachings to become the children of the highest. Everybody can hear these kind of teachings. He's speaking to those that have the ear to hear these higher teachings to become the children of the highest. All right? So that you may be highly rewarded. Naturally, a lot of those who were with Jesus at that time, they did not understand. Why? They did not have the ears to hear what Jesus said. But he said in 27th verse, I say unto you that hear it, you which hear what I'm about to say. All right? And that's the beauty of knowing uh, the, uh, those high principles that God is giving and is showing here for you to understand. Those 13 principles, uh, which are called preparatory prep principles of Jesus. You need to understand that. And uh, understand that, add with that Revelation 22 and 12. When I come, I'm going to bring my reward. Great is your reward in heaven. Why? They are bought by him who is coming down from heaven to reward those who are children of the highest. This is why it is seen in secret, so that you may be rewarded openly. And why not? It's God that does these things to you at the end time when he comes to reward you uh, to show you the favor that you need to have because of what you did. That's why Jesus stressed this so importantly. Uh, but I say unto you, which hear? That's why he said, take heed how you hear. Not what you hear, but what? Everybody say how. How you hear. Everybody don't hear to be able to understand these things. I'll give another example. On the highway of God, there are only found a few. But in the broad way of God, uh, not of God, there goes many. God bless you, global Christian friend. We love you, pastors. Amen.